everybody, this is your vlog host Nikki Bala and today I am going to be talking about electricity and circuits. So what is electricity? So electricity is another form of energy that uh, that powers almost everything around us from our light, fans and even charges your phones. So electricity is made up of tiny particles called electrons. So when these electrons move in one direction, that is called electric current. So you could imagine them as like marbles in a pipe. Electricity has many sources from batteries which are in our toys and TV remotes and like power stations that power our houses with electricity and solar panels that use the sun rays to convert it into electricity. So it doesn't matter where you get that source, but, but it matters with the part where the electricity moves. That is where the circuits come in. Circuit is like a part or a load that the electricity follows or flows freely. Circuit has three main parts. A source of electricity like a battery, the wires that is that the electricity flows freely and then a device that uses that electricity. If a circuit is closed, meaning everything is secured firmly and the switch is on, the device will work but if it's open like some part is not connected properly the device won't work so imagine like a race track so if if the race track is closed the race car can move but if it's open the race car can't move that much so not all materials let electricity to pass through them some do which are called conductors and some do not which are called insulators some metals like aluminium iron Copper, silver are conductors, so they allow electricity to pass through them. While some materials like wood, plastic, and rubber do not, they are called insulators. That means they do not let electricity to pass through them. So that's why in a wire the plastic is covered on the outer, so the electricity stays inside and does not like let anybody to get shocked by it. When you have one or more devices, you could arrange them in two different ways in your circuit. One is called series. So you arrange them like a train coach all together. Then the other way is called the parallel. Each, each device has a different path. So if one stops, as an example, stops glowing, the others will still glow. So that's how our homes also work. It's in a, like a parallel circuit. So if one home does not get electricity, the others will still get electricity. So electricity is very cool, is very powerful and also very, very dangerous. So here are some safety steps. So first, do not play with electric sockets and bare wires. Do not have wet hands and play with electricity. And always have adult supervision while handling with electrical stuff. So now let's recap on what we learned today. Electricity is made up of tiny particles called electrons. They they flow freely in a, in a specific path called circuit that needs a complete loop to work. Conductors allow electricity to pass through while insulators do not. A series and parallels work in different ways. So now we are going to do a demonstration with my friend Vasu here. Hi. So let's look at the parts. Here I have the source that I have chosen a battery. Now here is the wires. Now here for the device I have chosen a motor. And this is the fan bit. So now I'm going to do a fan, a circuit with a fan on here. So, so in a battery, in a wire, the red, the red wire represents for the positive charge and the black wire represents for the negative charge. So what happens here is the positive charge will be used by the device. Then with the used charges is called the negative charge. Those will uh, come and be stored in the battery itself. So now I have done the demonstration. Uh, the device that I have chosen is a motor with a fan blade. I have seen our channel growth now. We have hit over 100, 100 subscribers. Thank you for supporting me. And if you are watching this and not subscribing, please subscribe. It will help me. Yeah. And this is your blood host, Nikhil Bala, signing off. Hi, this is Vasu signing off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>